Hi there, I'm Tom Morgan and this is the Ubiquiti Unify Cloud Key. Um, so this isn't really a review of the product, but it's more of a kind of an unboxing and some information about it because uh, I didn't find anything like that on the internet before buying um, this item and that's the kind of stuff I like to see um, and see videos of before I, before I buy. So this is the Cloud Key, so it's designed to go into your Unify setup and it's basically a mini computer that runs the the management interface. You don't need it. Um, you can use uh, any other computer. You can also use uh, cloud computing. Um, there are services that host it as a cloud computing instance for you. Um, but I kind of wanted to use this because it keeps everything local, uh, keeps everything Ubiquiti branded, and it's relatively cheap compared to, you know, once you take into account all the other stuff you're buying, adding this on um, is not a big, not a big added expense. So so this is the, the box itself, there's a picture of the picture of the cloud key, hybrid cloud technology, whatever that means, I guess we'll find out. Um, the Ubiquiti hologram on the bottom, and this is sealed, um, kind of unlike the other ones actually. Um, it's the sealed, sealed case, which I'll try and get into. So let's break the seal on there. Really do with a knife really, but and use this uh, tape measure. There we go. Okay, so this is definitely one of the hardest Ubiquiti boxes to get into. Which is funny really, given it's probably the cheapest piece of kit they sell. All right, here we go. Okay, so there's a quick start guide. So everything Ubiquiti um, I've seen so far comes with one of these quick start guides, which is really good. Um, and then the thing itself is pretty light, it's pretty small. You can see it fits in my hand nicely. Um, it's a bit like a, feels a bit kind of in terms of size and weight, a bit like one of those um, battery chargers, maybe a little bit lighter than that. Um, and then on this end, um, we've got a, an Ethernet port on this end, we've got a mini USB and what looks like to be an SD card slot. As I understand it, you can put in a mini SD card, sorry, mini SD card slot. Uh, you can put in a mini SD card and use it for backups. And there's also a reset button there as well. Um, oh, I wasn't expecting this. This is pretty cool. Um, actually, it comes with a, what is that, an 8 gigabyte Kingston micro SD. So that's, that's really nice. I was kind of thinking I'd have to go and buy one of those. So that's a really nice touch actually. Um, didn't have to do that. And then here we've got, this looks meaty, but I think it's just, I think it's just a regular, maybe power over Ethernet cable. Um, so it's RJ45 on both ends. It's Ubiquiti branded. And this in the middle is like, you can see it's uh, it's supporting the weight of the thing on each end. It's, um, it's a pretty meaty, a bit worried to bend it. It feels almost like, Oh, it's, yeah, you can see it um, holds its holds its shape. So that's a fairly meaty connector. I'm not sure what's different about it. It just looks like RJ45 on each end. It looks like it's probably Cat6 or or something similar to that. But anyway, that's uh, that's pretty exciting. So let's have a look at this quick start guide then as well. Let's see what. Um, so there's some stuff about what's in the what's included. Um, and then there's a front panel. Oh, this is there's an LED in here as well, apparently. Sort of around about here-ish, apparently. Um, that's white or blue. Blue is working properly. Um, white is either initializing or, you know, problems and issues. And then the quick start guide really just goes into um, setup and how to install, which is pretty pretty easy. It's uh, you plug it, you plug one end of this cable into the top, and you plug the other end into your uh, into your switch and then you power it um, oh, okay so so I'm just kind of reading through because uh, down here it says power source and there's a cable and it says it's not included so the reason is this is powered by power of Ethernet so if you have a power of Ethernet switch that's all you need if you're connecting it to um, a switch that is not power of Ethernet you will need to provide it with power and that's what the, the mini USB is for. There is no USB cable included in the box. 
um, there is no adapter or anything like that to power this power here. So just to kind of FYI, if you're going into a switch that um, doesn't have power over Ethernet, uh, you will need to do, um, you know, you will need a couple of additional bits and pieces. And that's, that's pretty much it. The rest of the quick start guide is all about the software installation and stuff like that, which I will cover, but I'll cover separately once I've got all this stuff set up, because like I say, I'm unboxing all this for the first time um, to see what it all looks like. So, so keep watching. Um, if that's something of interest to you, you'll find that as a separate video. Um, but I hope that's been useful.